We lived in a distorted consciousness that imprisoned our minds. We were trapped in a false reality, unaware of the geometric prison that surrounded us. We were born under the influence of a hypnotic spell and were conditioned to believe that we were powerless. But the truth was that we were the creators, the manifestors of the true reality. We are the original leaders of this system. We are and always were the strength and power of consciousness. People felt it dangerous to ask questions. They felt it easier to follow a narrative that kept them spellbound. We didn't understand that our potential was limitless. Beyond the spell, there was a utopia waiting for us. The human ego protected its own treasure, but the gold only held value within a system that was collapsing. Nobody could accept how controlled and committed they were to the agenda of the cult. Some knew that this would eventually implode. The human ego had kept us in a loop, repeating the same traumas we had lived before, again, again and again. We were blinded by the pain, the suffering, the constant and never-ending hurt because we had visited this place many times. At crucial turning points within our galactic cycles, we began to see the negative forces push their agendas forward. We began to put together the pieces of the great interstellar puzzle. We were taught to feel separate from the world, from ourselves and from each other, divided by religions, cultures and forced to distrust our intuition. But beyond power, money and greed lay something far more powerful, human consciousness. The web of our consciousness had been hijacked by forces that opposed us. Once warped through fear, they could control it on every level. Our thoughts were contained to a few a day and our actions only served their system. Humans had to experience themselves before they could understand who and what they truly were. So we dragged ourselves through a dark journey of consciously submitting ourselves to our masters. The hardest part was for those who were awake. They could see the oppression and cried out as people walked into the jaws of hell, one by one. They let their overlords manipulate and invert their consciousness. We warned them, of course, but they just ignored it. Their cage doors were firmly locked. People had no idea how deep this went. History had been erased and most completely forgot where they came from. The awakening that happened over those years were the stepping stones to a new reality. We couldn't understand it at first, as the truths were too much to digest. All over the world, people were understanding the abuse that was happening to them. We were slowly emerging. Through that painful and never-ending darkness came a brighter light. In a world where we cannot choose, our light becomes weak. Do you want your light to shine? Or will you be overthrown by darkness?